All right, hey world. Um, first of all, good morning. It's almost afternoon. Uh, I'm about to take these clothes, hoodies, sweatshirts, a couple pairs of uh, female shoes, mostly for women's clothes because most of the stuff I took over to these different places have been men's clothes because they've been my clothes. Um, I've collected a few women's clothing, um, sports bras, different types of stuff. So I'm gonna take it over here. Uh, I'm gonna let them let the people pick through it, and I'm gonna begin my day of giving. Hope you would join me. All right, how you doing, world? Um, I'm back over here where y'all continue to look left and look right instead of looking straight ahead before you. Um, yeah. That's the sad situation that's before us. Um, I'm about to take these hoodies and these different things. I'm about to pass them out. Make sure these people can stay warm and have some clothes and things of that nature. Um, I'm about to go over here and touch bases with an individual that didn't go to the program I helped him get involved in. Um, still gonna try to help him though. Still gonna try to push him. Some of these people or individuals are used to just being homeless. They just accept the situation. Sometimes you have to push a person and let them know that no, nah, it's not acceptable. We're not going to have this. And yeah, uh, stay tuned. Shout out to my mom providing these knitted beanies and caps. All right, so uh, here I am over here on Fair Oaks and Howe, and uh, we have... Hi, I'm Marcus Arroyo. And... Uh, I was about to leave after uh, talking to some of these lovely people over here, and he pulled up on his own with, within his own volition, and uh, he hopped out, and he's got two, uh, what is that? So I got some pastries that uh, we had left over from an event that we were throwing earlier today at my, uh, at my work, so I just um, just wanted to hand them out, you know? So, uh, waste. <laughs> so Marcus, God bless him, um, at his job, they had an event today, and they had leftover pastries, and out of the kindness of his heart, <laughs> He didn't think to just take them home to his family and friends. He thought out the kindness of his heart to come over here. And this is what he brought over here. Nice pastries, expensive, good pastries. <laughs> Lovely. And uh, yeah, man, I really appreciate that, brother. God bless you, brother. All right, how you doing? Um, about to pull away. Today was a good, prosperous day. Um, I got to connect with these people over here, these individuals, and I'll be back tomorrow to have a video session with them, record them, let their stories be heard. I got a few of them to agree to get their stories out there and let you see the humanity that's over here and the intelligence and the wisdom and the talent. Um, yeah, got to give these people a chance, man. You know, they matter. For sure they do. Most definitely. They for sure matter. So, yeah, good afternoon, world. Um, I just want to bring to your attention that um, a lot of these homeless encampment areas that you see around the city um, in Sacramento and in the county, um, city, the city has come through and they have ordinances and things that they put in place and they say that they'll come through and pick up the trash. They tell them where the place to trash at. They tell them that they'll provide clean water and where they're going to be dropping off this clean water on a regular basis. Um, they have a design plan, but they're not keeping their end of the bargain. Regardless if you've opened up Miller Park and you have this waiting list, because everybody that's on Fair Oaks and Howe and everybody that's on Calvine and the different areas that you see, they're all on the waiting list because it's a waiting list. It's only for 92 people, but you have thousands and thousands of people that are homeless. So, I mean, it's a start. Can't talk bad about a start in the right direction, but it's just a scratch as to what you could do with the funds that you get allocated for these programs. Um, so it makes me wonder what you do with the money because everybody over there is supplied for these programs, but they get given the runaround and red tape. 
But the main thing I want to bring to the attention of people is that they are asking for water. They're asking for clean water. So if anybody's watching this video, I mean, please tap in with me. A lot of you press like and things of that nature, but make a comment. You know, um, I don't want your money. I don't need your money. I don't need you to help me pay my bills. I don't need you to help me pay car payments. None of that. I don't have car payments. Uh, we own our vehicles. Um, but all that aside, I'm just looking for people to participate. So for all you people out there watching, if you care, tap in with me. Send me a message. Water. W-A-T-E-R. That is what they're asking for. The people are asking for water. I'm providing them with food and I'm going to go provide water, but they're asking for water. So I would appreciate if people could pitch in just a little bit of water, um, bottled water. <laughs> it, it makes me uh, emotional because it's not hard to help, man. I am to help. I hope you do too. That's what you